welcome back to the old doghouse workshop. I've been asked to make some spindles for the front suspension of some Bond microcars. Here is a Bond microcar spindle. It's the front suspension wishbone pivot. This one is in fairly good condition, apart from having some damaged threads and that the journals are worn in places. I'm going to make some replacements, however, I'm modifying the spindles to reduce the possibility of them snapping, which they do tend to do. They tend to snap at the intersections between one dimension and another. That's because there's no radius to prevent the cracking and the subsequent breakage. I'm going to use some 16mm bright bar, EN8M. This bar is only 0.25mm bigger than the required size so I'll have to be careful not to remove too much material. My plan is to rough out the material in the three-jaw chuck and then finish everything between centres, apart from the threading. The threading will be done using a die. Because there's so little material on the major diameter, I need to be sure that it'll clean up on the finishing cut. First thing is to face it off. Now to centre it. Next to turn it round and then face it off to length, which is the length required plus uh, six millimetres. That'll be uh, three mil each end. The reason I'm leaving the extra three millimetre on each end is so that I can remove as much of the centre hole as possible just before I tap the thread. Clean and oil the slideways as often as possible. I'm now roughing out the 375 thou dimension. I'll rough it to 10.4 millimetres and I'll machine it 75 millimetres long. This end will be the same as the other, but it'll only be 38mm long. Now I've moved the material out enough to put a recess in the middle of the, sp the spindle's major diameter. I'm using a 10mm bottom tool to provide the two 5mm radiuses at each end of the recess. This is blending the smaller 11mm diameter to the larger as yet on machine journals. This recess will be roughed out and finished all in one go, as this is a grease pocket and there aren't any limits to work to. Now the spindle is set between centres. I'm going to take a skim cut all the way across to get sizing and to check for parallel. Once established I can finish the outer journals to size. Of 
course, once set, I can take the spindles out with impunity because they will always go back in the same place, so there's no need to do any resetting. The two ends of the journals are a specific dimension and therefore have to be machined accordingly. Using an odd leg scribe, I'm marking the pre-finished dimension. The marker I've used is a whiteboard marker. It dries quickly, it shows up scribe marks quite well, however the drawback is that it can be accidentally erased. The journal end face is machined to a predetermined distance from the edge of the central recess. Now it's time to get the 375 thou dimension ready for the 38 BSF thread. Once this is complete, it's time to turn it round and do the other side. This journal face is machined to a specific dimension from the other end of the main journal. As on the other side, the journal end face is pre-finished. It's to allow the 375 thou dimension to be finished all the way up to this face. Both tooling dimensions for the finished surfaces are zeroed out on the handwheel dials. All I need to do now is finish the journal face to size down to the 375 thou dimension. Here is a specially ground tool that enables me to undercut the journal faces. Doing this allows me to maintain journal face dimensions and put a stress relieving radius in the corner 
without compromising the seating integrity. I'm using the feeler gauge to set the position of the tool. I'll set the dial on the hand wheel to include the feeler gauge thickness. Hopefully this will prevent me from machining the spindle whilst cutting the underface. The undercut will be half a millimetre with a half millimetre radius. this one done now I've got to turn it around and do the other one That's both end faces done and both uh, undercuts finished. It's now time to get the uh, threads put on. Uh, 3 8 BSF. Before I can thread it I've got to remove the 3mm that we added on at the beginning.
I'll just break the edge using a lathe file. The lathe file will also put a 45 chamfer on as well to lead the die. I'm now repeating the process on the other side. I'm using the tailstock to square the die and uh, to also drive it onto the initial few threads. I'm just breaking out the lathe file again just to put a very small radius on the end of the thread. Uh, makes it look a little bit better. This won't go all the way on, but it's the only nut I've got of this type. I'm waiting for a batch to turn up. And here we have the modified uh, spindle. Uh, as you can see it's slightly different to the original and hopefully the modifications will prevent any uh, fractures or breakages. Once again thanks for watching. Please like, comment or subscribe. Cheers. Bye.